having a YouTube channel might be a very good choice if you want to promote your business or if you want to promote your personal branding, your services, your products, so and so on. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about five things that keep my clients away from starting a YouTube channel and speaking about what they do. So don't go away, I'll be back. Before we start, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Eva Bergman, Mindset Trainer, Action Coach and Business Strategist and on this channel I share proven tips and tools that will help you take your business and sometimes your life for the place you are to your, to your dream place, to where you want to go. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and at any point check out the links that I'm going to put in the description down below. I think that that already there. So there are a few things that keep my clients or kept my clients away from starting a YouTube channel. And today I'm going to share those with you. So first and foremost, the, the number one excuse for which they don't have a YouTube channel, they say, well, Eva, I don't have a setup. Yes, it was mind blowing for me because I thought that the number one excuse will be different, but the number one excuse is this. I don't have a proper setup. Next week, I'm going to share with you how I created three setups, almost four if I, if I come to think of it, four setups in my own living room, which I, where I am right now, actually. And yes, I don't have a prompter. I speak freely. And I must say that I'm not a native speaker of English language. So if I make some mistakes, please forgive me. So if you don't have a setup, that's okay. You don't need a special setup. I know you are watching all these marvelous YouTube channels and you want to be like them. And I totally get it. I was in your shoes. I wanted to have the perfect studio where I could film all my YouTube videos, the perfect equipment and so on. You don't need a special setup in order to start a YouTube channel. All you need is your phone, you, yourself, <laughs> you need yourself, your courage, your willingness, and of course you need to take action you need the phone and you'll see we'll talk about this later so the number the number two the second excuse is the equipment and while you are watching this video i'm sharing with you the basic equipment that i have with all the prices this is not an affiliate video so i'm not going to share links to amazon where you can buy those equipments but you will you will realize that it's actually simple and right now although i have three dslrs and i could shoot my video with a dslr one of them at least i shoot my video with my iphone yes it's an iphone i think it's an iphone i don't know which iphone i have because i'm an, i'm not a tech savvy but it's an iphone 12 i think something like that I'll, I'll, I'll post a picture with, uh, with my iPhone. So I have an iPhone. I have a lav mic, which I use and that it costs probably, sorry about the sound. It costs probably like 70 bucks, I think, but I'm going to share the prices. And I have a Manf Manfrotto tripod, very simple. And that's it guys, that's it. I don't have a prompter. Because if you, if you start a YouTube channel or you think about starting a YouTube channel, you probably have some expertise. You probably have some experience in your industry. So you don't actually need a prompter. I know you want to, to talk about fluently, uh, to talk fluently about what, what it is that you're doing, but that's okay. And the number three, the third excuse, is the speed, the fluency, the speed of, of talking. I saw that 
and I saw it when I installed some extension on my YouTube channel. I shall not name that extension because I, I don't want to, to endorse them, not now at least. And somehow when I uploaded my YouTube video, there was like a speedometer on my screen, which was red. The needle of the speedometer was very low and it was red. And I was like, what is this? And when I, when I, I, I look closer, it said speed of speech, too low. And I was terrified and I wasn't even speaking freely like I'm doing it now. I was speaking by reading from my prompter and I said, wow, do I have to speak faster? And for almost a year, I had to, to fight this need to comply with that request, which is not a YouTube request to talk faster and faster and faster. Hello everybody, this is your better one. No, no, stop doing that. You are special. You have something special to say to your tribe and your tribe will follow the way that you speak to them. Will not follow the way that Tony Robbins or Amy Porterfield or I love Jasmine Starr, but she, she talks so fast that I can barely follow her. Talk like you do. Talk like you. Be you. Not, not someone else. So that was the third mistake. That was the third thing that prevent me to post more often, possibly. Uh, somehow I was always stressed about this and I was looking, oh my God, I wasn't speeding too much, too fast, sorry. Oh, start again, start again and again and again. No, this somehow turned out to be eventually, for me at least, paralysis by analysis because I was trying to be perfect and we're not perfect. And actually, if we, would, we were to be perfect, then I don't know, it would, would be Jesus Christ or Allah or Muhammad, I don't know, Buddha, Dalai Lama, whatever. Anyway, uh, the fourth, the fourth uh, thing that kept my clients away uh, to, from uh, opening a YouTube channel and speaking in front of the camera, no, it's not that fear of speaking in front of the camera, it's, that's on the 10th place, I think. And today we are going to talk about, talk about only about five, it was actually the fear that they have nothing to say. They don't know how to do their copy. I must say that I'm not sure that I know how to do my copy yet, like I would like to be, but it's a, it's a learning process and it's an improvement process all the time. So if you are like me, or like my customers and you think, well, what should I talk about? Yes, I have a little piece of paper where I took notes just to remember the, the main points. So if you are like me, I can help you with that. Um, a very interesting person that I follow on Instagram and he's, he's, he's quite different. He has his own voice. I think the, the handle of his Instagram is I am Dan Thomas. I will leave anyway his handle on the comments below. We are not friends, although I'm hoping to, to have him as a guest on my podcast or on my video, YouTube, video, YouTube videos. But he, he shared last week um, a website called tweakyourbiz.com. And basically, this is a site with multiple marketing, business, tech subjects. It's like a huge blog where, where many people are, are posting their articles. But on the, homes, on the home page, you can insert a word or a phrase, but usually insert a word. And by inserting this word, like I'm showing you, I'm showing it to you now, I'm showing it to you now, 
sorry um, you can extract the, the the side the algorithm I don't know AI it doesn't matter will extract almost 400 400 possible topics around a single word around that word that you put there so of course some of them are are like you cannot use those but uh, I did this exercise and I've extracted around only one subject 132 viable ideas guys having 132 topics around one viable word that is related to your expertise and doing blogs podcasts youtube videos uh, igtv reels or facebook lives or instagram lives whatever blog posts doing this 132 at least at least you will position yourself as an expert around that word so let's say you insert fitness word and you extract 100 topics around fitness word you are able to post two videos per week for one year it's almost impossible not to position yourself as an expert as long as you deliver of course good content you are uh, consistent and you are showing up at least one time per week live on your chosen platform this might be instagram this might be youtube this might be facebook unfortunately for me i love also instagram also youtube and also facebook and i have and you will discover maybe if you do the same different different people following me on these different channels but hey it's one year it's one year that you could give yourself in order to position yourself as an expert so no more excuses this is a very good tool for you to uh, start crafting your copy in the first place because the the headlines the, the titles are very good and also to start doing it actually because i don't care if you have ideas i don't care how good you are because I don't know who you are like you don't know who am I perhaps I don't know perhaps it is the first time when you're seeing me and that's it because for one year and a half I haven't post anything on YouTube almost anything so that's it I have yes I have a voice on Facebook I have a voice on Instagram but I lost my voice on YouTube so now I have to start all over again like my engines are cold cold you know cold ice cold and i have to start all over again although i have five thousand and some followers on my youtube channel i'm nothing i'm nobody because i was nothing here i i, I did not show up so that is a, a very important rule that you have to follow uh, show up consistently okay maybe you are not you you can't you don't have time to post two videos per week that's okay post one video per week and show up one time per week live on a main channel because some of them has to be main in my case possibly is uh, facebook i'm not sure yet but i feel like on facebook i have a little bit more control and the audience is much more implicated um whilst on instagram people seems to consume a fast forward content and i don't like fast forward content because i don't believe in fast forward content so if you want only small pills that you can take away yes i recommend to follow me also on instagram well i will give you each day little pills that you can swallow and you can apply but if you want consistency, I promise you that YouTube and Facebook is, uh, uh, are the places where you will find those. And um, last but not least, since I was talking about the fact that I did not show up for a year and um, I have 5,000 followers, 
um, the, the last excuse, important excuse that I heard of is that I don't have a follower ba followers base or, or that I don't have a fan base or I don't have an email list. So I don't know how, who, who will watch my videos? Yeah, you're right. In the beginning, you might think that nobody will watch. No, nobody will watch. Yes, but I'm sure that you have friends on Facebook, <laughs> real friends, not, not, not followers, real friends, real friends you have on Facebook or on Instagram or on Twitter. I don't know, but I'm sure you have some real people that you know, that you shake hands with, that you can turn to and ask them nicely to share your content. To tell, you can tell them that you started this new journey that will help you grow your business, your personal brand, that will help you make people, help that, that will make people be aware of the fact that you have certain products and certain services that might help them. And you can turn to those friends and ask them to share these uh, materials on their pages, social media pages, social media accounts. Here I have a huge request for you because I'm not that guru, I think, that is saying do this and that and it'll work. I have to make a huge disclaimer to you. If you're just posting, let's say you make a YouTube video, you're posting that YouTube video uh, also to your Facebook business page. Make sure that you have a business page. And you just say in the comments, if you like it, please share this uh, to your friends. I'm, I'm sure that you will have no results, almost zero results. And I said that I'm not like those gurus that are telling you do this and that because I actually like to follow results. I like to follow what is working and what it's not. And my promise to you each time is that I'm going to make sure that I deliver the information all the way up A to Z so you can achieve results. So the best thing that this might work in order for you to start building a fan base is to select 50 to 100 friends, 30, it doesn't matter, but make sure these are quality friends. Friends that are showing up on their accounts, on their pages, even though, even though those are personal pages, make sure they show up consistently, consistently because when they do this, they have a, let's say, semi, follower fan, ba fan base also. They have friends that are, are watching what they are posting. So choose, make a list with 30, 50, 100 of these quality friends, these quality friends, not only for you, but they are good material also for Facebook or also for Instagram and send them a private message, message them send them the link and the request in a private message. Will all of them share what you sent to them, share your video? I don't think so, because I did it myself. I did it both ways. When I posted my video on my business page, it was shared by five, four, four, five, ten max friends. But when I selected a hundred people, 70%, almost 70% of them shared that material. And you are able to watch actually what is going on on their pages because you are friend. Make sure after they share, and Facebook actually is going to notify you. It, it can notify you if you selected those box that they shared your content. Make sure to thank them. And usually I know that people are, are, are more inclined to do something for us, to make us a favor we, if, you, if we incentivize them somehow. So 
when I do such a thing for my customers and even for myself when I did it, I made sure to add something like a, a coupon discount, a voucher, or at some point I did even um, a social media audit for free for the first 10 person who shared that message or you can can let them that you let them know that if they share it will enter into a giveaway contest that is very um, I don't know how to say it in English mm, a little bit of help restricted restricted I think no not everybody can have access to that giveaway contest so that's it for for today let's do a quick recap so what is stopping you people around you to start a YouTube channel uh, the fact that you don't have a setup yet or a dreaming setup you don't need that the equipment you don't need that either you don't have you don't have to have fancy equipment start with what you have speed of the way you speak uh, you don't have uh, what to talk about tweak tweakyourbiz.com and the last you don't have a followers base or a fan base or an email list so i think we cover that up for um, today and in the next uh, video i'm going to uh, show you as i as promised how i did my setups in order to have different corners to shoot my videos so it, it doesn't become a little bit dull a little bit redundant although although i have to say that having a specific corner with specific um, i don't know with a specific visual might be a very good way to brand yourself your product your services your materials the way you are in total so that's it for today. I hope you found value in this uh, material. Special thanks to Roberto Blake. Shout out to Roberto Blake, who said something about uh, 100 day video, 100 days video challenge. Roberto, this is me doing every day for 100 days, one video per day, posting it. Make sure to subscribe everybody. Hit that bell notification button so you will be notified every time we are posting a video. So that's it. Bless you. Bye-bye.